not sure where to go, or what to see. Then, let's explore. Auckland. Keep watching and we'll show you, the top self-guided day plan so that you can see the best attractions, at your own pace, for free. We'll also show you the best time to travel here. Save time and money by rolling with Tour Bird Buddy. We do all the hard work for you. To explore more cities, be sure to subscribe. Awesome. Let's roll. This tour is best. If only have a day. This will take about 11 hours, big day, but worth it. Maybe you'd rather. 48 hours in Auckland, day 1. At 6 hours, this can easily be done in a day. Maybe you'd rather. 48 hours in Auckland, day 2. About 7 hours is ideal for this tour. Maybe you'd rather. Climbing the volcanoes. You'll need about 8 hours to enjoy this. Our checkout. Auckland Museums. Being a busy tour, this will take about 10 hours. Our checkout. For school age kids. A full 9 hour day. Let's look at. If only have a day. A busy day spent exploring must see attractions, including Viaduct Harbor, Sky Tower, and Albert Park, Auckland. Then move to Sky Tower. Landmark 60-story tower featuring panoramic views, bungee jumping and a high-end revolving restaurant. Then on to Albert Park, Auckland. Historically significant, tree-filled park with flowerbeds, a Victorian fountain and statues. Next to Kelly Tarleton Sea Life Aquarium. Aquatic life habitats are explored via glass viewing tunnels, displays and shows at this site. Next to Auckland Harbour Bridge. New Zealand's second longest road bridge, stretching just over one kilometre, with bungee jumping facility. Move on to Auckland Domain. Established city park containing museums, memorials and the entire blast crater of Pukekawa Volcano. Then move to Queen Street, Auckland. Queen Street is the major commercial thoroughfare in the Auckland CBD, Auckland, New Zealand's main population centre. Let's look at. 48 hours in Auckland, day 1. A full day exploring the city's highlights, from the waterfront to a skyscraper observatory. Aquatic life habitats are explored via glass viewing tunnels, displays and shows at this site. Then move to North Wharf. Next to Auckland Art Gallery Toy Otomaki. Vast array of national and international art, plus Maori works, in a chateau-style 1800s building. Then move to Sky Tower. Landmark 60-story tower featuring panoramic views, bungee jumping and a high-end revolving restaurant. Let's look at. 48 hours in Auckland, Day 2. More top Auckland area attractions, from seaside sites to a park on a volcanic cone. This mountaintop park offers a short hike to the summit with city skyline and harbour views. Move on to Torpedo Bay Navy Museum. Compact museum with a cafe offering historical Navy exhibitions, artifacts and educational programs. Move on to Auckland Domain.
established city park containing museums, memorials and the entire blast crater of Pukekawa volcano. Move on to Auckland War Memorial Museum. A fine neoclassical building and memorial containing a permanent collection and temporary exhibits. Then move to One Tree Hill. This 182 meters tall volcanic peak with a road to its summit features an obelisk and an observation area. Let's look at climbing the volcanoes. An active day exploring a scenic volcanic island and dormant volcanoes turned city parks. Home to unique plants, the reserve features walking hiking trails and a boardwalk to Rangitoto Summit. Move on to Auckland Domain. Established city park containing museums, memorials and the entire blast crater of Pukekawa Volcano. Then move to Mount Eden Domain. Site of Auckland's highest volcano, with spectacular city and harbour views and a large crater. Let's look at Auckland Museums. A busy day visiting popular museums exploring topics from art to maritime history. Interactive zones and exhibits on a 40-acre site including original 1877 pump house and kiwi cars. Move on to Auckland War Memorial Museum. A fine neoclassical building and memorial containing a permanent collection and temporary exhibits. Next to Auckland Art Gallery Toyo Tamaki. Vast array of national and international art, plus Maori works, in a chateau-style 1800s building. Then on to New Zealand Maritime Museum. Museum exploring the country's seafaring history through exhibits and sailing trips on replica ships. Move on to Torpedo Bay Navy Museum. Compact museum with a cafe offering historical Navy exhibitions, artifacts and educational programs. Let's look at, for school age kids. Top sites for school age kids, including sharks, penguins, vintage planes and a planetarium. Aquatic life habitats are explored via glass viewing tunnels, displays and shows at this site. Then on to Museum of Transport and Technology. Interactive zones and exhibits on a 40-acre site including original 1877 pump house and kiwi cars. Move on to Auckland Zoo. New Zealand's largest zoo, with 130 plus species and nearly 900 animals in a range of exhibits. Then move to Stardome Observatory. Astronomy venue with planetarium shows, courtyard telescope viewing and an interactive space gallery. The most popular travel time in Auckland is January. The temperature ranges from 24 to 16 degrees Celsius. Yearly events. Waitangi Day, is in February 6. Auckland Cup Horse Race, is in March. Pacific Island Cultures, is in March. Check the video description below for weather tips, more events and links to rewatch a day plan. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe so that you always go the best way for the best day. Oh, help planning your trip, check the links in the video description below.